comment that I made. This election year, vote fairly, vote often, and remember a vote for me, Vermin Supreme, is a vote completely thrown away. <laughs> And they are, of course, as follows. I am the only candidate who will fully fund the time travel research. That's right, I'm the only candidate who will go back in time and kill baby Hitler before he is even born. That's right. That's my message to you. Yes, friends, I also have a, uh, the only candidate who is specifically speaking about the imminent zombie apocalypse. I am the only candidate who has an actual plan to deal with this imminent zombie apocalypse. And not only that, it's a twofer, because we will be harnessing the awesome power of zombies for energy production, lessening America's dependence on foreign oil. That's right, we're talking giant zombie turbines with lots of zombies and dangling brains in front of them. Oh, it goes on forever. It's a two cheeks of meter, you might say. And once again, I'd like to point out there has never been an accidental zombie escape at a commercially licensed zombie energy production facility. Right? So I'll be assured that it's an available technology. Now, once again, of course, um, I think we can all agree that Junior Biden has been eroding the gum line of this great nation for long enough. It must be stopped. For too long, this country has been suffering a great moral and oral decay in spirit and in sizers. A country's future depends on its ability to bite back. We can no longer be a nation indentured. Our very salivation is at stake. We must brace ourselves and bite the bullet as we cross over the bridge work into the 23rd century. May we become together a sea of shining smiles from she sea to shining smiling sea. <laughs> now friends, some people will try and tell you that this mandatory toothbrushing law is about the secret dental police kicking down your door at 3 a.m. to see if you have brushed. Friends, it is not. It is not about the dental re-education centers, nor is it about the dental re-education facilities. What this mandatory... Oh, it's not even about the DNA gene splicing to create a race of winged monkeys to act as tooth fairy enforcers. No, friends, it is not. What this mandatory toothbrushing law is really about is strong teeth for a strong America. Thank you. And last but not least, number four on my four plan plank program to revitalize America is of course my free ponies for all Americans. Yes, that's right, free ponies for all Americans. It is a job creation program. Um, it's going to create lots and lots of jobs. We'll be bringing back the buggy whip maker. I mean, how many economists have we had? Oh, the buggy whip maker as an example of something that's gone by the wayside. I will be bringing back buggy whip, buggy whip makers. Thank you. We will lessen our dependence on foreign oil once we have uh, switched over to a pony-based economy. Um, now, what, what do you mean by pony-based economy? Uh, of course, I'm not actually advocating using ponies for a means of exchange, although that would be swell, uh, because this is a federal pony identification system, so you will be required to have your pony with you at all times. Thank you. And uh, once again, we need to understand that once we have universal pony ownership, then we will have equity in our ponies. And once we have equity in our ponies, we will be able to borrow against that equity. Now, once we've established that there is pony-based debt, then we just bring in the bankers, and they start creating really arcane, insane, hard-to-understand, confusing uh, financial implements based on this uh, pony uh, debt. And uh, we will create this huge pony-based bubble in the economy. And it's going to be really awesome and good, because I hear bubbles are great for the economy. Thank you, I'm Vermis Free, President of America, People's Candidate, and you are the people! Thank you, citizens! Thank you! Vermin, Vermin. <laughs>